Now then, well, just a nice, peaceful, quiet one today. I've uh, come into the woods just to have a night alone, really. Just nice and relaxed. I've got a 30 litre backpack on and I've uh, got all the kit I need just for a night. Nothing major, I've ditched a lot of the normal stuff I'd use, but um, I will lay out absolutely everything I've got in this backpack. And I think you'll be surprised at what you can fit in, really. Um, I've dug out an old Hilleberg tent, uh, which I'm using, um, which is nice, but I do need to cut a couple of tent poles for that. So I've got um, on the back of here, a knife and saw. So no plan, just a case of uh, getting out in it all, really. And I'll take in a few views, find a nice spot, and then just totally relax out for the night. There we go. Keeping it all calm. Wow, look at this. That's just absolutely perfect. About the size of my hand. Go on then, climb. Right, I'm going to show you uh, exactly what is in my 30 litre backpack. This is a low alpine backpack, um, quite lightweight actually. I think it's called a super light or something. Yeah, the Ascent Super Light 30. Anyway, it's uh, more of a climbing backpack really, but it's brilliant for um, just uh, putting all your gear in on a lightweight adventure like tonight. Anyway, I'll open it up. I'll go through everything that's in it. Starting with 
Just a packable jacket. That's one made by Fell Raven. I've got my OM chest pouch, which I'm just actually using currently for putting spare batteries in and my drone and things like that. I have got some wine, so I can have a drink of wine when I get settled. Food, a couple of little items of food. I seem to always have broccoli with me as well to add to these things. I've got that A-Lite Monarch chair, which is a brilliant piece of kit. In here, we have a woolly hat and something to sleep in. So it's a full set of leggings and a, a top there, a long sleeve top. Got to look after the dog, so I've got some food for the dog. I have my iPad. And then in here, this is just all I've got for cooking. I'm not actually going to do any cooking barring boiling water tonight. So I have got a cup and inside the cup I've got some tea and my little um, Trangier stove. It's just in a bag because it's got fuel in it already. There's a little pot stand but I've actually made this, I'll show you this properly later, which actually sits on top. So let's just pop that all away. Can't lose my tea bags. <laughs> I have my Sea to Summit pillow. Packs to nothing, absolutely love that. And then we're gonna start getting to the better stuff. I've got a water filter and I've also got a, a bottle just so I can fill some water up. This is my Thermarest Neo Air Uber Light, so a tiny little uh, sleeping pad. I have got the, uh, this is the Nature Hike ULG 400 sleeping bag. Now that is a three season sleeping bag, it actually goes, you reckon, to about minus four. I'm going to test that because I've never had it that cold before. But that is such a small little pack size for a sleeping bag, so brilliant bit of kit. And it lofts really well, so it is pretty good for the insulation value, definitely. Uh, this is a pair of RAB, uh, the Pertex Quantum gloves. Um, it's actually not that cold at the minute, but if needed, I've got these to put on, which is just a lovely set. There we go. And then, finally, we have the uh, Hilleberg Rajd, Raj, I don't know how you pronounce that. Uh, this is just an old tent actually, they don't manufacture this one anymore, they've replaced it with something similar, uh, but that is just a tiny pack size. All you need is two poles to put that up and um, it's got a few pegs in there already. And that is it. Um, just to deal with any other little bits of kit, possibles bag, long spoon and a knife. I've got my tiny little wash bag here and in here all I have is my toothpaste. So I always just carry a mini toothpaste, a sawn off toothbrush and then a little tiny pot of Vaseline. Because uh, I always put Vaseline on my lips after I brush my teeth. I've done it since I was a, a tiny kid. And it doesn't matter what you ever do in life, you could really hurt yourself. I could break my leg and my mum would still tell me the same. Just put some Vaseline on it, it'll be alright. Yeah, but mum, my bone's hanging out. It's alright, just put Vaseline on it. Honestly, she's well funny with that. Tissues. Um, and then I've got a little light there. And uh, a couple of matches just in case. You never know when you might need a match. And barring a, barring a head torch and a lamp in there, that's pretty much all I've got. But, as you can see, you can get a lot in a tiny little backpack like that.
just wandering through the woods, just trying to find a place to pitch. I know a couple of places which are, are quite obvious for me to go to, so I'll probably just pop to one of them because it is getting a bit dark now, to be honest. And I need to get set up, cut myself a couple of tent poles, and then uh, in the old Hilleberg. You won't have seen it, it's a very old one. <laughs> Definitely not. Still good though, lightweight, perfect for doing like adventure racing or anything like that where you have to carry absolute minimal kit between a couple of you. But anyway, it's nice just to be out, chilled out in the woods. Well, this is not a bad spot to turn up to. It looks like somebody else has been here, which is a bit annoying because they've actually had a fire and then just not sorted it out and left no trace. Anyway, it's flat enough ground here, so I'll uh, get set up now while I can. Tent out by all. Apart from the dog chewing on a tree, it's absolute silent. There's no air movement whatsoever. Luckily, because I've only got a single skin tent, it's going to be dry as well, hopefully. Right, let's get this set up as fast as we can. Right, there we go. My little abode for the night. Tell you what, it's not a bad little tent this, super lightweight and uh, packs down to pretty much nothing. And all I've done is, as I said, just cut a couple of poles and I've barely pegged it out properly and it's actually really solid, so quite looking forward to a nice peaceful night in the woods, eh? Right, let's get everything inside. Right, it is time to get some water on the boil and then I can actually have uh, a little bit to eat. So, I've got a metal cup with water in it and a leaf. And then I'm gonna cook on my Trangia little uh, burner. So, I've got some fuel already in it. But what I've done is, I don't know if you can see this, but I made this. And uh, this sits perfectly on top of the Trangia stove like that. Uh, so it actually works really well because it's more efficient because obviously it's acted as a little windbreak as well. So that was my clever little design. I might patent it and then uh, sell that baby, but uh, it definitely works well. Right, so let's get this lit. See if we can light it straight away. I can take all this off actually. And there we go, first time. We are lit. You can barely see that flame there, but so we can drop this on top. I cut it to perfection so it fits really well and then I'm going to just drop that little pot burner on there because this cup will sit inside whereas if you've got a larger frying pan it sits on the outside of this it's actually a really clever little bit of kit I think I might be able to make some money off designing and making that properly cool eh so we've got this uh, to the boil now and I just need to uh, fill up this minced beef hot pot. But the problem is, I've got no way of taking that off there and pouring it in there. Um, so I'm going to have to improvise. I've got my woolly hat, but I don't want to burn it. What else have I got? I wonder if this will work just enough to pick it off. Yep, 
Let's just okay. All right, let's pour some of this in here. Ah, frig me, that's getting hot. I'm gonna give this a stir. And then I'm gonna just uh, pop in a few little bits of um, broccoli, just to uh, warm up in it. Oh yeah, usual thing. Always leave that in there, don't we? And then, this broccoli, I'm just gonna um, tear up into as small bits as possible, just to uh, get a bit of heat to it with that boiling water. Just adds a little bit of crunch to the actual meal as well, which is quite nice. Tell you what, it's just nice just having the uh, flame, it's just like having a fire. So I'll seal that up, and that's dinner getting prepared. So my next problem is. I need to put this uh, out, so let's just uh, fish out the little stand inside. I'll take my homemade stand off, and I'll just chuck this over. Well, I am just about to eat my dinner, and there we go. See if it's cooked properly. Yeah, good. Good, good. Bit of broccoli in there as well. I'm sat on my um, sleeping mat. This um, Neo Air uh, Uber Light, and like I said as a top tip in one of my other videos, I'm sat against my actual chair. And I'll tell you what, this tent's just awesome for it. It's a two-man tent. And the space you've got, I mean, you know, above my head, there's absolutely loads of space. It's actually a really good tent for uh, lightweight, good weather camping. Anyway, I'm so relaxed. And I'm totally going to just chill out, eat this, and have a drink. Life is good. Life is good when it's simple. That's what I reckon. Too complicated life most of the time. But it's really nice just to step out of the complicated life and then slip into this relaxed, simple life, which does make such a difference to you. You know, you feel amazing doing these sorts of things. And it's so easy to do and just, you know, once you've got a bit of kit together, you can do it anytime you want. That's all, so. Yep. Anyway. Let me enjoy this. And there's Bluey Dog just chilling out in the corner of the tent. Look at this, loads of space for us. Well, just as an hour, just chilling out, enjoying a bit on the uh, old iPad. And uh, I'm just getting myself ready for bed. So I have got the um, Thermarest Neo Air Uberlite sleeping mat. Now this thing is paper thin. It's got an R value of 2.3. So it's pretty good for two stroke three season use. Um, but I'm going to test it and see how far I can get this uh, thing to go. Because I sleep quite warm and I reckon I can definitely get it down to freezing possibly a little bit low lower than that um just as it is um obviously with a good sleeping bag but um anyway we'll see with that because uh, i'm enjoying it it's pretty comfortable as well so not a bad thing to use um i've also got the uh usual which i generally have is the seat summit pillow the aeros pillow i think it is super lightweight and uh, a great little bit of kit and then I've gone for the uh, Nature Hike sleeping bag. And you can see this, it's actually quite a small pack size, really. This is like a three season sleeping bag. Great little um, uh, stuff sack, which uh, you can sort of squash down the air out of this and just turn it into quite a small pack size. 
and I'll pull this out. Plus it's a down sleeping bag, just give it a shake, just get a bit of air to all those uh, feathers and down. But um, yeah, it's a great sleeping bag is this. Let's say uh, three season use. Um, this is the ULG 400. It's a 400 fill to it. Um, let's have a look. Yes, uh, the comfort rating is minus four degrees, it reckons. Um, so I will definitely test that out. I'm pretty sure it'll be all right for me at minus four. Um, but this is the ULG 400. You can get the ULG, I think, maybe 700 and 1100 as well. Um, which are obviously just more fill to it, which means they're going to be able to go to a lower temperature. Um, but in all honesty, pretty awesome sleeping bag. And if you're on a budget, um, definitely worth checking out. Um, if, I'll leave a link below for this because uh, it is um, it is a fantastic sleeping bag. And uh, as I say, it's just cheaper than a lot of the major brands. Like I've got a Rab sleeping bag and a Thermarest one. And they do cost a hell of a lot of money. Um, and this is a very, very uh, cheap version of that, which does exactly the same thing. Um, so anyway, check the link out and then uh, see what you think. Anyway, time to get into this sleeping bag. I'm actually quite excited. All right. Well, I'm total toasty. Totally toasty in uh, this sleeping bag. And in this uh, very old school Hilleberg tent. But um, I'll tell you what, it's a good bit of kit. It's very easy to pitch and uh, it's only single skin, but for a, a quick camp out like this, it's absolutely brilliant. And it's so roomy inside as well. So yeah, not a bad one to use. It's been a while since I've had this one out. Um, yeah, time to... Uh, Get myself to bed really. I've got a couple of bits of kit to show you. Look at this. This is my go-to knife which I use most of the time and I made it myself. So that's uh, the leather work and that is out of an old um, this is my thinking face. <laughs> that's out of an old saddle and the knife itself is a uh, Nesmuk sort of style knife, really. And then it's just made out of oak, some green liners. And uh, then this is my famous little um, addition, which I add to all my knives. And that is a um, noose, little lanyard for it. But yeah, really nice knife. And to be honest, I do enjoy making knives. I've made quite a few in my time. And um, same as the leather work as well. But um, something quite nice to make your own tool and then uh, be able to use it. Um, with that, I've also got the uh, Laplander saw, which I didn't make, but I did do the leather work for. So, simple little sheath for it. Yeah, I really enjoy designing and making things. And to be honest, if I can think it in my head, I am pretty much can make it. Um, it's just definitely one of my um, attributes in life to be able to do these things. But um, I just enjoy doing it, that's all. So, yes, anyway, enough of my boring little life duties. I'm going to get myself to sleep. So it is time to lay this lug. I'm going to drop this chair back and get this ready to this and then I can drop flat. And then good sleep in this beautiful woodland. I'll tell you what, it's so lovely to get out and just uh, have a night which is just a simple one. Rather than doing the big adventures, which I do love doing obviously, but um, just... Uh, you know, relaxing back and taking it all in properly. Love it. Absolutely love it. Anyway, I'll see you in the morning. Morning flowers. Well, you can't really beat this for being relaxed and just enjoying nature. 
proper in the middle of the woods and um, it's been a, a very still night so a little bit of condensation on the inside of that tent which is a, a single skin tent so as you would expect but um, I'll show you in it now because uh, it's an awesome tent but it's um, a discontinued one so they've actually replaced it of Helleberg with something else and as you can see I've just uh, very roughly pitched it just sort of squeezed it in all these guy lines are only just uh, just being held in by tiny little pegs but it's kind of cool tent inside is very spacious I've got to say that's me just set up on my little uh, bed yeah not a bad tent really um definitely does the trick for just a, a quick night out hey yep it's a good life it's a good life well it was a bit dark last night so i don't know how much uh, you could see of what i was on about to do with my little trangia burner but this is your standard Trangia burner and uh, the usual method of cooking on this is to um, just use the pot stand and these are about six quid this just crosses together and then sits over the top like this and that's great but then um, you've got no windshield at all with that um, so you have to carry a separate windshield so what I've done is I sort of tried to come up with a design um, which sort of helps that out and this is what it is it is quite simply a bowl from Ikea I've chopped the central out, central bit out there and I've put some air intake holes along the bottom and then um, just uh, if air is obviously coming in through the bottom here then it needs to find its way out again so what I've done is uh, I've cut all these slots all the way around uh, because if you've got a pan sat on top of here obviously you need some air escape as well otherwise it will not actually burn um, so this sits very snugly on top of that and then it allows you to then put a pan fully on the top but also if you uh, have a smaller cup like this one here um, that pan support on the inside um, just actually works quite well because it still works still works as a, an air brake and um, uh, sorry a windshield and uh, it allows you just to sit your cup on there so that is my little design that I came up with I think it's got some legs as this thing I might have to uh, try create and design something that's um, able to manufacture and sell to the masses <laughs> anyway I had a problem it was uh, to do with a windbreak for using this Trangia and um, my brain comes up with a solution that's just the way my brain works so um, anyway it's pretty good is that you can't buy them <laughs> yet Well, it is time to pack up and get myself back home. So, good thing about this tent is it just bundles up and then shove it in the bag. No messing about at all. Watch how fast I can do it. Well, there we go, all packed up. Honestly, I should have just done that in real time because it took probably a minute. That was it, just to get it all packed up and shoved in this bag. Such a nice, simple tent to use. Anyway, let's get uh, ourselves off. I'll just have one last check round and then uh, we'll skedaddle home. So there we go, nice 
easy night out. No effort at all, just pack a backpack, nice and small, minimal kit, and yes, it's a, a no thrills adventure, a no frills adventure. But at the same time, you still get that same feeling of just being outside and just being part of it all. And it just, for a couple of days after any time I'm out, I just have this uh, elation through me. It's, it definitely makes me feel better. So yeah, totally love it. Anyway, if you uh, like this video, well, just like it anyway. <laughs> and um, let's uh, just keep this uh, channel growing and moving to where it where it should be i think and that is uh helping as many people inspiring as many people just to get out and just appreciate what we've got in this uh beautiful world we've got and just doing it in a safe and uh environmentally friendly manner that's all anyway i will see you on the next one